I think there is one direction, which is success. أهلا بمصر، هلا بالجميع. Hello. I keep saying hello till you say hi back. Okay. Um, first of all, Khulud, Nancy, Forbes Middle East team. I can only imagine how complicated it is to do something like this. So thank you for having us and thank you for supporting youth. I think if any of you attending will take advantage of this event to network, to hopefully learn, to answer some personal questions in your mind, I think you would have a very successful two days. So I wanted to leave you all with something that hopefully will help you. So my story, it's really not about me, but hopefully something that is applicable to anybody. Um, you know, I come from a very typical direction where us Arabs go into either being a doctor or an engineer or a lawyer. And I went the engineering path, which a lot of people don't know. I'm a mechanical engineer by background. But something that always bothered me was to be restricted as a human being in one dimension only. I don't think anybody sitting here is just one dimensional as a human. I really don't think so. I think um, you could play the violin and you could be a doctor and a horse rider and a chef all at the same time. I think human beings are extremely talented, but we are brought up to be very constricted in one box. So that always bothered me. So I got into mechanical engineering, worked in an oil gas field, worked in property development, worked in philanthropy, worked in football, and then I started also in parallel some startups. Football, cafe, hair salon, AB Talks. So it was always this idea of trying different things and not accepting to be in one dimension. So the, some of the few things that I would like to leave you all with. One is stay curious. It might sound simple. But the curiosity that we did have when we were children, which was trying even to put the sand in your mouth and then you realize that's not food, opening drawers, uh, going out, wandering, being bored, it was making us extremely curious. Now you have to think, why is curiosity on a descent as we grow up? Why does it always get less and less and less? And the answer is because of shaming, because of guilt, because of what the society will say, what your family will say, what your friends will say, if you're going to get bullied in school. So slowly, slowly, you would notice that all of us as children, or mostly, we become less curious because of we, we start to think about a lot of things. That's why when you, when you talk to a, a kid, he has no filter. He's just he's telling you what, how he feels. He's extremely open. He's open to the world. And I think we need to always protect that curiosity that we have as human beings. So that's number one. Number two, I'll try to make my presentation very simple. Number two, if you can change your whys to why not. Leish ila, leish la. So when you say why, why should I go there? Why should I go to a new country? Why should I try a new cuisine? Why should I try a new job? And if you change that why to a very small shift to why not. Why to why not? Why not try a new country? Why not try a new job? Why not try a new destination, a new museum, a new hobby? So when I, say st I said curious, I didn't only mean be curious about business and be curious about jobs. I meant be curious as a human being. Meet different people, talk, read books that you usually don't read. Go to new countries that you've never been, not the same ones that you're already comfortable with. So if we can change the why to why not is a great thing. And I think if you combine your curiosity and you combine the why to why not, and now you're trying and you're trying, you will find something that makes you tick. You will find your niche. You will find something that you enjoy, that you don't feel the hours. You don't feel it's a job. You're like, where did the time go? I'm enjoying this. I'm always researching this. I'm Googling this. I'm reading about this. So you start to realize this is maybe your calling or your purpose. And once you find what, you tick, what makes you tick, you can apply these basics that sound basic, but they're really not basic. It's work diligently. Stay disciplined and persevere. Persevere is so important because sometimes you won't get the sponsorship or the budget or you have a difficulty with your employees or you're not making 
the headlines still. And you really can't really expect things too quick, although we live in a very impatient world today. Very impatient. Everybody wants success very quickly. People compare others to social media. And you think everything is easy. But if you really start to look at life as a marathon rather than a quick sprint, it's a marathon. Marathon needs stamina. Marathon needs perseverance. So when you look at it that way and you're doing something you enjoy, not something that somebody else is doing, something you want to do, not what your friend is doing and they're successful. What do you want to do? So once you find that and you do it every day incrementally, I think there is one direction, which is success. So I have, I'm going to, I like leaving with questions. Um, actually, one more point. So I told you about these things. And people know me now maybe because of the, one of the popular businesses that we do is AB Talks. But everything I've done, whether it's me in the desert in oil and gas, or me in Bangladesh with UNICEF, or me trying to do a cafe, or me learning about hair salons, it makes me the human I am now, and I can assume that it made me the interviewer that I am today. It's all part of my personal journey and what makes me Enes. And everything that you've done in your journey is making you you. So I'll leave you with this now. This is a cool question. And you don't have to answer. You can answer it in your head. So if I give you a blank check, blank check, you can put any amount you want, an amount that will be enough for you and your kids' kids. OK? But I have one condition, only one condition, is that you have to choose one thing that you have to do, a certain job, for the rest of your life. What would you choose? So I'll leave you with that. It's a good start for this uh, two days, and good luck. Thank you for having me.